Greeting friends, how are you doing today? I have a question for you today. Have you ever seen a rubber ball? My question for you this evening, have you ever seen a rubber ball? This is a rubber ball. This is, these are rubber balls. Um, they made of rubber. And these are actually kids, my cat toy. But they're made of rubber. And rubber ball is very interesting to me. And this week, uh, the last couple of weeks, actually, the last few weeks, we've been sharing about um, how to bring extraordinary result, kind of like a miraculous result into our life. And one thing that I find very helpful in bringing miraculous result into our life is into your life. If you would love to be uh, to have miraculous or extraordinarily awesome result in your life, is to be a rubber ball. <laughs> to be a rubber ball. Become a rubber ball. Or become like a rubber ball. Not really a rubber ball. But um, become like a rubber, rubber ball. Why? Because a couple things. If you ever look at a rubber ball or pay close attention. First of all, when you um, rubber ball, if you throw it, if you drop it, if you hit it, whether you drop it, you hit it, you throw it, you smash it, even if you stomp on it, they tend to kind of bounce. If you, if you like drop rubber ball, if you accidentally stomp on a step on a rubber ball, if you don't hurt yourself, that's the first thing, um, the rubber ball just kind of dart it off. You know, if you ever uh, on a slippery surface, you put step on a rubber ball, you can try this, but don't, don't try this uh, in case you get hurt. Um, <laughs> but you know, step on a rubber ball, a smooth rubber ball on a smooth surface, See what happened? The rubber ball just dart out and it's dart out, dart away, and then this usually just bounce over something. <laughs> and then if you drop rubber ball, uh, they bounce. If you hit rubber ball, they bounce. And if you you, you do anything to rubber ball, let's say you just kind of throw it like that. What? That one goes into kids' water. Uh oh. Uh, it'll be okay. Um, because it's a rubber ball. Even if it goes um, into the water, thank you for joining me, friend. Even if you throw a rubber ball into the water, into something, it bounces. It just bounces like that one. Just land it in the water of ball and bounce back out. So it's good to be to be like a rubber ball. For the first reason is we can you can get hit. Somebody can drop you. Life can can drop you. You can feel like as if life has smacked you. Um, you can feel like life has dropped things on you. You feel can, you can feel like life has stepped on you. And if that's the case, be like a rubber ball. Just dart away and bounce back. And so being um, being able to be like a rubber ball is very useful in when we are going when we are manifesting when we're attracting when we're creating extraordinary result into our life why because life is life life happens things happen in life sometimes it feels like life has smacked us up it will smack our head with a baseball bat and sometimes life uh, you might feel like life has just thrown a pawn a brick at you sometimes you feel like life or people just step on you Sometimes you feel like you skirted through something that is completely bizarre. And if you are like a rubber ball, you simply bounce back. And usually unhurt, unscathed, being a hard rubber ball, you are unhurt. Um, you don't get hurt. The ball doesn't say ow. Um, and and, and uh, unscathed either, just bounce back. Another thing with rubber ball. Another thing with rubber ball that's also make it useful for you to be like a rubber ball when you would love extraordinary result in your life is if you throw just like that ball there that landed in kids um, my cat's water <laughs> it might get a little bit wet the ball get a little bit wet but it didn't get in the water did not get in and drown the ball the ball had this been of the bigger bowl. Um, the ball would have just float instead of going in and uh, uh, instead of absorbing whatever it is, you know, it might get it wet. Yes, the ball got, got the water on its surface. It's got it on, uh, it's on, got it on its skin, so to say, uh, but it doesn't absorb it. It doesn't take it in and it doesn't influence the core and the content and the contents of the ball 
and it being the pure rubber ball that that it has and if you are like a rubber ball life happens people say bad things about you for no apparent reason things happen in your life for no apparent reason seemingly and on and on and on thank you for joining me friend um and we're talking about rubber ball this evening to become like a rubber ball so lives happen lives happen sometimes you feel as if you know somebody just um uh pour hot oil on you or something somebody said something that is so unkind to you you hear something somebody did something that just something absolutely undesirable and and it things happen in life and it might touch you on the surface it might touch you on the surface just like the water might touch the might might make the ball wet on the surface but it doesn't get if you become like a rubber ball it does not get into you it does not change who you are the rubber ball still a rubber ball uh, it does not change the purity the authenticity of who you are you are so uh, you can you can say th people can say things and yeah sometimes it's kind of like you know oh why why did they say that why did they do that but it doesn't get into you not only it doesn't change who you are being human it's uh, and also the ball <laughs> it's also not going to drag you down so regardless of what people say out there you are amazing and you are beautiful if you like a rubber ball and you stay true to yourself and not only that because whatever the junk and the dirt and the on and on and on the even if it is rain on you you can have a rain on a rubber ball you can have a storm on a rubber ball and the rubber ball get wet but it doesn't doesn't get absorbed the, the rubber ball doesn't absorb it and so you become when you become like a rubber ball things happen people can say it yes it might touch you on the surface but you're not going to take it in and say oh my god this is going to make me um cannot sleep for the next two weeks and therefore influence me and influence my energy and drag down my vibrations just like the rubber ball don't drown don't get drowned because it just landed in the water and the same thing just like that and you are going to continue to have your wonderful beautiful energy in, in addition to your authentic self um, because you don't let things get into you if you are a uh, you are like a rubber ball and um, in, uh, in in other words in other words and other expressions in the ling english language and i see actually this is also um in in different language now that i think about it but uh yeah uh, you have the pig skin not only you actually have pig skin there is a, 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 a an expression to have a, a you know be, don't, don't be a thin skin person have a thick skin and then people say no people say this and ha and that have a thick skin and and don't worry about them but not only that you do, you have a thick skin if you are like a rubber ball you actually simply not penetrable you have to be stabbing a rubber ball if you just you can pour um water you can pour liquid you can pour ointment you can pour whatever it sit on the surface and then you can just run it and wash it and then it clean again <laughs> and so when you would love to uh, bring into your life some extraordinary results some miraculous results it is definitely important important for us to become like a rubber ball because sometimes things happen and we just want to be able to say oh okay we got dropped we bounced back we got dropped we bounced back one of the um, best doctor that i know one of the best doctor extremely successful extremely good doctor extremely successful businessman as well and we're not talking about just sometimes we talk about oprah and this and that people that get so many rejection and you're like yeah well that's oprah but this is actually somebody that whom I've worked with. Um, they, th this person um, got rejected from entering veterinary school, I believe he says about four times. And then he failed his specialty board exam five times. 
And once he did, he passed his board exams, everything, he become a very successful doctor and then also become a very, very successful businessman um, and now has created many hospitals, living very comfortably. And so life happened. And, and along the, the time, everybody tell him, um, this person uh, all over and over again, oh, you know, maybe you should do something else. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Just let it go. Why do you really have to get, the, um, why do you really have to get bored? it by now you already get make, make enough money and so on and so forth but if you really really love to bring what it is that you you love into your life become like a rubber ball if life drops you step on you kick you throw you hit you you just bounce back um right there just like that and then even if things get on you it might be on your surface and you can easily wash it off, wash it off with um, clearing, with uh, with retreat, with reflections, with whatever it is that you do to re release things that got you. At, but that it will only stay on your surface. It's not going to get into you that drag you down, drag your energy down, that drag your vibrations down. We talk about how important it is to be in a vibration that is in alignment to, with what it is that we would love. And um, and also because when we are in a vibration um, that is in alignment to what it is that we would love is when actually that's where our dream, our vision is in that vibration that is, um, that is higher, a vibration of joy, of gratitude. So if you like a rubber ball and you're joyful and somebody said something, something happened in life, you can stay joyful. You don't have to get dragged down because it doesn't get absorbed. And even more importantly, sometimes people just say things, media say things nowadays. So many people say so many things, sometimes well-meaning people, by the way. And, um, but they're not you. You know who you are, just like a rubber ball, rubber ball core is true to itself. If you are like a rubber ball, things got on you, stay on the surface, you continue to be your beautiful, authentic self. So, so if you like to, please just join me this evening on checking in with yourself on how you can become more like a rubber ball. In, is there some way in your life, perhaps, and perhaps now, perhaps you, are, you have become a perfect rubber ball, but for me, I have the opportunity to become a, a, a better rubber ball, or <laughs> so to say. Um, one thing is I can definitely benefit from me personally bouncing back a little better and I'm I'm usually in town to be a resilient. <laughs> um, but you know, I just I invite you to see in your life how you could become a better rubber ball. Not that, not to mention a, 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 a good rubber ball is actually very fun too. That's the third thing that is good to become a rubber, become like a rubber ball, because rubber ball actually bring a lot of joy and a lot of fun. I mean, you can play with rubber ball, it's entertaining, it looks nice, and so on and so forth. And it's important to have fun in our life because um, where, uh, when we have fun, it's actually when we are able to relax, when we're able to have uh, to be more at ease and actually operate at an energy that is higher vibration and naturally allows things that are higher vibration, the extraordinary results that we would love, so to say, the miraculous results to flow into our life a little bit easier. So become like a rubber ball where you can bounce back, where you don't get things, where you, don't, you don't have things get into you, it stays on the surface, if at all, um, and then also you are fun. And just share in the comment below if you have any feedback. So just share in the comment below if you can, um, if you have some way that you would can you can become more like a rubber ball. Uh, and please feel welcome to share if you have any extraordinary results that you would love to bring into our life, uh, into your life. And um, this is Bridget with From Griefing to Joyful Living. I thank you very very much for joining me this evening. And I thank you and kudos for you to invest this time in yourself and in bringing the extraordinary result, the miraculous result that you really, really love that call to your, that calling your heart 
and I look forward to see you again very, very soon.